this pride themselves on, and that'll be important for him and the team, Jolie, in that clean sheet. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, defenders, you, that's what you pride yourself on, like you said, but his performance, um, again, summarises his, his character, um, some erratic moments, but uh, he's got agility and alphabet, uh, athletic ability to, to kind of make saves, and he did that tonight. He's got a strong mentality as well, because a lot's said about him, isn't there? Yeah, I think you have to as a goalkeeper, because um, you know if you make a, a mistake, it, it tends to lead to goals, so he's proven that, um, but hopefully now he can find a, a calm level of consistency, because I think that's what he needs and that's what Everton need, and especially with a big year in regards to, to England as well. And in terms of the goal, it actually came from Jordan Pickford. Um, pretty much strikers trying to take penalties. <laughs> I tried to ignore it. <laughs> I know you did. But you know me better than that. Have you got a problem with that? Is, do you like to see that mentality from someone like Richarlison? I like the mentality, but I don't like it played out in front of people. You know, you know before the game who's taken the penalties. And, you know, if that's so you've the case... you've never done that? In... I've never tried to grab the ball <laughs> off someone, well, unless you're going to show some footage of me doing it. I can't remember it, let's say. Um, no, I can't. But, uh, no, I think you've got to be professional about it. And sometimes... Listen, we used to have a rule in, in, when I used to play at Liverpool. If you got brought down, the manager didn't want you taking that penalty. Really? Yeah, which was, uh, which was a bit strange, because obviously sometimes you get brought down, you're not hurt, and you, yeah. you, know, you get up and you think, well, I am the penalty taker. It cost so you a golden boot or two. It that, could do that, yeah. So, um, yeah, so it's, uh, it's an interesting one. But I think by what the pictures we've seen, I think it's, uh, it's Richarlison's got to calm down a little bit and, and leave it to... Uh, Where do you stand on that? Some... Because obviously at United there's been a bit of debate this season that... You know, Rashford's been giving them yeah. to Bruno Fernandes and vice versa, and then there was one time where there could have been a hat trick and he didn't take it. Yeah, that, that was strange, wasn't it? Fernandes had scored two and ended up yeah. giving it to Rashford. Rashford I, take I, it. Yeah, I found that really strange. I don't know. Well, I, I wouldn't have done it. I'm sure Michael would have done it if he was taking penalty. But as my, it just creates confusion for me. Um, you know, before in the dress room, the penalty, oh, not even the dress room, the week of it, you know who your penalty taker is. So. Whether they've not discussed it or what, I don't know, but I'd be amazed. I just think when somebody comes over causing an argument, you're causing a bit of a scene, it does put a little bit of pressure on the, on the penalty taker, then, but he, he was calm and cool, as we saw. Yeah, the same, not that I ever took penalties. I wouldn't have been trying to grab any <laughs> ball at the penalty taker. But, yeah, it's, it's not nice to see. The mentality is good, as, as Michael said, but the persistence of and showing you frustration that you're not taking it is... It's not good for anyone, it's to be honest. One of the few things that you go out onto the pitch knowing, you know who's yeah. going to be the captain, you yeah. know who's walking, you know, leading the team out, you know who's the penalty taker, you know who's taking corners, you know if you get a free kick, you know, if it's on the left, he'll take yeah. it, if it's on the right, he'll... You know all these things, you practice them all week, so it's very strange when you see people arguing on the pitch like that. Mm. Chelsea hit the woodwork a couple of times. Jordan Pickford, as we've heard, made a... Times he's just all over the place. What do you want to see from a goalkeeper play? behind you as a centre-back. Yeah, Do you want to see that come into the edge of the penalty area like no, that? No, because there's no consistency, so you don't know when you're coming or going. Again, players are going for headers and he's coming out and punching and you just need to have a, an understanding. If he's going to come for everything, then that's the understanding. And if he's not, never going to come, then you know that. So the level of consistency would be a, a concern for me. Um, you just want composure and a steady, a steady voice behind you. But again, like Scorsese said, I feel he wants to be involved, wants to potentially get man of the match when it's not necessarily his, his uh, position to do. OK, he's got his clean sheet, though. Everton have got the win. First defeat in 18 in all competitions for Chelsea. Here's their manager, Frank Lampard. Thoughts there from Frank Lampard, particularly, uh, maybe, possibly, in terms of what the Liverpool manager, Jurgen Klopp, said? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, uh, something spiked him, hasn't it? He's, uh, he's, he's feeling it there. I mean, he's been on a great run, so there's been no reason to, to let any anger or annoyance off his chest, let's say, in, in recent weeks. But Has uh, he a point? Have people been getting carried away with Chelsea? Well, I think it's his job to bring expectations down. I think everybody... Yeah, yeah, naturally. I mean, I'm sat here and I'm a, a neutral and I'm watching them thinking, very strong, you know, strong team, a lot of good players, depth of squads there, having a good season. Can they win it? And I'm thinking, yeah, they probably, they probably could. You know, a lot of other teams are, are you know, either not playing well or got lots of injuries. So I'm sitting here making a case for them. So does that mean I'm getting carried away? I mean, I think it's quite realistic to say, no, they're not favourites. But, I mean, I make them one of four teams that could win it this season. I think Frank Lampard would prefer to be in that position than, than an also run. Just for clarification, who are the other three? Tottenham, Manchester City and Liverpool. OK. Well, one game doesn't change things. Before tonight, where were you on Chelsea? I felt very much the same as Frank said. I think they've got a good team. I don't think they're 
quite ready to challenge for a league. I think they've got a really good players, as he said. He's built a really strong team. He's been on a great run. Um, but I don't think it's a great team yet. I think they've still got a way to go, whether it's a year's experience with having Werner come to the league, with having Havertz come into the league. I think it's going to take them a little bit of time. Um, I don't think they're capable of winning the league, as Michael said. Um, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> you know, they might go and surprise me, I don't know. I just don't see them in the same class as Liverpool and Manchester City yet. Well, all three of you have won the Premier League. Have Chelsea got what it takes in that dressing room to surprise a few? In terms of quality, yeah. Maybe not the experience. Um, I was a little bit nervous for, for Frank at the start of the season. I think with the money they've spent, I felt Abramovich is going to want them to be title contenders. Being third and fourth isn't going to be enough. And I thought with the, the quality and the standard that Liverpool and Man City have set over the last couple of years, I didn't know they were going to be able to match that. But with the standard dropping and the points tally being a little bit lower, they've stepped up. And yeah, they are contenders. Um, they have to be. Um, they've proven that they can beat some of the top teams in the league. But as the season goes on, they're going to need to uh, find that consistency. And is it how they respond now? 17 unbeaten, they lose tonight. Are you interested to see what they do now in the next few years? Yeah, that's the key. And again, all great teams and, and top players perform best after a defeat. Um, it hurts them. So you're going to want to kind of put things right and I'm sure they're going to look to do that early next week. And another one of Jolien's former clubs, Wolves, up next for Chelsea. Frank, you warned us this was going to be a big test. You were proved right. What did you make of Chelsea's performance this evening? Not our best. Um, first 20 minutes or so were key for, for me. Um, I knew it was coming, some longer balls, some second balls, a team desperate for a win and with capabilities to make it really difficult, we found out last year. And when you go 1-0 down against them, it absolutely suits their game plan, which is to make it very difficult for us. They did it really well. And we didn't have enough from then on. We hit the post twice. You can argue that we maybe would have got, could have got a draw out of it, but um, for our levels um, of what we've been recently, not good enough. You, you said you wanted to see energy before this game. Did you see enough? Um, not really, and that's not... I, I wouldn't say the energy, though. Sometimes that sounds like desire, you know, to put energy into a game. I wouldn't say the desire wasn't there. It was just off it in the first moments. The, the lads are, are gutted there because we've been on a good run and we know what we can do. And if we play well and play to our best here, we can get a result. But at the same time, if they're going to make it difficult for you, don't concede early with a long ball, second ball situation, which we talked about. Um, and then don't... <laughs> struggle to create like we did, because that's what we have been doing. We've been getting down the size, our quality of cross has been really good today, it wasn't. We hit the post twice, those are just little moments. Um, and credit to Everton, because they made it really tough. You mentioned handing, them, uh, handing the advantage to them. Was that a reckless moment from a goalkeeper? Yeah, a little bit. I don't think he was just culpable, but he's been outstanding since he's been there from the first moment. So I'll take that one. And it was a difficult moment the time he got caught in, in the middle and, uh, and made the foul. Um, and that can happen here. When, play, when teams are going to play long and have probably, if not the best, one of the best strikers in the league for heading and making it difficult and second balls, then there's going to be tough moments in the game. You want to suffer those moments and get through them. If it's nil-nil at half-time, I'd be relatively happy and I would fancy to come out and play better. It really suited them to drop back. Disappointed we didn't have enough to unlock the door after that. We didn't show anywhere near enough for what we can do. So now you have to go on a new unbeaten run. It's That's gone. life. It's a long season. And I've, if anything, if it make, makes some people who are talking about us, we're going to win the league, we've got the best squad in the league, it's, it's, it's ridiculous stuff because when you talk about best squads, you have to look at the teams that have won it in the last two, three, four years. Their squads are full of you know, strikers and wingers that score 30, 40 goals a season. Midfield players that have won multiple league titles all over the place, experienced people that have won it, people that have won Champions Leagues. And we have some, we have some, but we also have young players. And as a squad, we're not there. If you ask me in two or three years, if I'm still here and we have a couple of leagues in our pocket or then and you are, are you title contenders, I'll say yes. But at the moment, people want to look at our squad and talk about it. There's, there's, it's very quick that it's gone from, I spoke after... I think West Brom and Southampton, we were, we were nowhere near good enough. Rubbish, useless. Now, last week, we've got the best squad in the league and we're going to win it. We're probably somewhere in the middle. That's the reality of it, and we have to work through that. And we'll have to work through nights like tonight because this, coming to here on a, this place on a night like tonight where you can see they're up for a result to make it really difficult for us, it's a big test for us. And we didn't pass the test. We will in future. Interesting.